An exonym or xenonym is an external name for a geographical place, a group of people, an individual person, or a language or dialect. It is a common name used only outside the place, group, or linguistic community in question. An endonym or autonym is an internal name for a geographical place, a group of people, or a language or dialect. It is a common name used only inside the place, group, or linguistic community in question, it is their name for themselves, their homeland, or their language. For instance, Germany is the English language exonym, Alla Magna is the French language exonym, and Deutschland is the endonym for the same country in Europe. Marcel Orusso, an Australian geographer, first used the term exonym in his work The Rendering of Geographical Names 1957. The term endonym was devised subsequently as an antonym for the term exonym. Etymology <inaudible> 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 All four of these terms are from the Greek root word anoma, anoma name. The prefixes are from the Greek endon, endon with an, autos, autos self, exo, exo out, and zenos, zenos foreign. Topic. Definitions Exonyms and endonyms can be names of places toponym, ethnic groups ethnonym, languages glossonym, or individuals personal name, as pertains to geographical features, the United Nations Group of Experts on Geographical Names defines Endonym, name of a geographical feature in an official or well-established language occurring in that area where the feature is located. Exonym, name used in a specific language for a geographical feature situated outside the area where that language is spoken, and differing in its form from the name used in an official or well-established language of that area where the geographical feature is located, for example, India, China, Egypt, and Germany are the English language exonyms corresponding to the endonyms Bharat, Zhang Guo Zhang Guo, Mazur Masr, and Deutschland, respectively. Chinese, Persian, Turkish, Arabic, and German are exonyms in English for the languages that are endonymously known as Zhongwen, Zhongwen, Farsi, Farsi, Turkcha, Alarabiyat, Al Arabiya, and Deutsch, respectively. Exonyms may derive from different roots, as in the case of Germany for Deutschland, or they may be cognate words which have diverged in pronunciation or orthography, or they may be fully or partially translated a calc from the native language. For example, London originally Latin Londinium is known by the cognate exonyms Londres in Catalan, Filipino, French, Galician, Portuguese, and Spanish, Londino, Londino in Greek, London in Dutch, Londra in Italian, Maltese, Romanian, Sardinian and Turkish, Londra in Albanian, London in Czech and Slovak, London in Polish, Londonier in Icelandic, Lantu in Finnish. An example of a translated exonym is the French name Pays Bas for the Netherlands, Nederland in Dutch, all of which mean Low countries. Exonyms can also be divided into native and borrowed, i.e., from a third language. For example, Slovene uses the native exonyms Dunaj Vienna and Benetki Venice, and the borrowed exonyms Kajev Kiev and Vilna Vilnius from Russian. A substantial proportion of English exonyms for places in continental Europe are borrowed or adapted from French, for example, Navarre Navarra, Nafaroa, Belgrade Beograd, Cologne Cologne, Munich München, Prague Praha, Rome Roma, Naples Napoli, Florence Firenze, Copenhagen Copenhagen, etc. Topic: <laughs> Tendencies in the development of exonyms. According to James A. Matisoff, who introduced the term autonym into linguistics, human nature being what it is, exonyms are liable to be pejorative rather than complementary, especially where there is a real or fancied difference in cultural level between the in-group and the out-group. For example, Matisoff notes Kang, an opprobrious term indicating mixed race or parentage is the Palong name for Jingpo people and the Jingpo name for Qin people. Both the Jingpo and Burmese use the Chinese word Yeren Yeren, literally, wild men, savage, rustic people, as the name for Lisu people. Exonyms develop for places of significance for speakers of the language of the exonym. Consequently, many European capitals have English exonyms, e.g. 
Athens, Athena, Athena, Belgrade, Biograd, Biograd, Bucharest, Bucharesti, Brussels, 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 Copenhagen, Copenhagen, Lisbon, Lisboa, Moscow, Moskva, Moskva, Prague, Praha, Rome, Roma, Vienna, Wien, and Warsaw, Varsava. While for instance historically less prominent capitals Ljubljana and Zagreb do not, but do have exonyms in languages spoken nearby, e.g. German, Liebach and Agram, though Agram is old-fashioned and not used anymore. Madrid, Berlin, Oslo, and Amsterdam, with identical names in most major European languages, are exceptions. Some European capitals might be considered partial exceptions in that whilst the spelling is the same across languages, the pronunciation can differ, thus Paris in English sees the s vocalized, whilst in Swedish Stockholm is pronounced with a more emphasized glottal stop which is missing in English. For places considered to be of lesser significance, attempts to reproduce local names have been made in English since the time of the Crusades. Livorno, to take an instance, was Leghorn because it was an Italian port essential to English merchants and, by the 18th century, to the British Navy, not far away, Rapallo, a minor port on the same sea, never received an exonym. In earlier times, the name of the first tribe or village encountered became the exonym for the whole people beyond. Thus the Romans used the tribal names Grecus Greek and Germanus, the Russians used the village name of Chechen, medieval Europeans took the tribal name Tatar as emblematic for the whole Mongolic confederation and then confused it with Tartarus, a word for hell, to produce Tartar, and the Magyar invaders were equated with the 500 years earlier Hunnish invaders in the same territory, and were called Hungarians. The Germanic invaders of the Roman Empire applied the word Walla. To foreigners they encountered and this evolved in West Germanic languages as a generic name for all non-Germanic speakers, thence, the names Wallachia, Vlox, Wallonia, Walloons, Cornwall, Wales, Wallacey, Welsha in Alsace-Lorraine, and even the Polish name for Italy, Wallochi. Usage During the late 20th century the use of exonyms often became controversial. Groups often prefer that outsiders avoid exonyms where they have come to be used in a pejorative way, for example, Romani people often prefer that term to exonyms such as Gypsy from Egypt, and the French term Bohemian, Bohème from Bohemia. People may also avoid exonyms for reasons of historical sensitivity, as in the case of German names for Polish and Czech places that at one time had been ethnically or politically German e.g. Danzig, Gdansk and Karlsbad, Karlovy Vary, and Russian names for locations once under Russian control e.g. Kiev, Kiev. In recent years, geographers have sought to reduce the use of exonyms to avoid this kind of problem. For example, it is now common for Spanish speakers to refer to the Turkish capital as Ankara rather than use the Spanish exonym Angora. According to the United Nations Statistics Division, "...time has, however, shown that initial ambitious attempts to rapidly decrease the number of exonyms were over-optimistic and not possible to realize in the intended way. The reason would appear to be that many exonyms have become common words in a language and can be seen as part of the language's cultural heritage." In some situations the use of exonyms can be preferred. For instance, for multilingual cities such as Brussels, which is known for its linguistic tensions between Dutch and French speakers, a neutral name may be preferred so as to not offend anyone. Thus an exonym such as Brussels in English could be used instead of favoring either one of the local names, Brussels in Dutch, Flemish and Bruxelles in French. Other difficulties with endonyms have to do with pronunciation, spelling and word category. The endonym may include sounds and spellings that are highly unfamiliar to speakers of other languages, making appropriate usage difficult if not impossible for an outsider. Over the years, the endonym may have undergone phonetic changes, either in the original language or the borrowing language, thus changing an endonym into an exonym, as in the case of Paris, where the S was formerly pronounced in French. Another example is the endonym for the German city of Cologne, where the Latin original of Colonia has evolved into Köln in German, while the Italian and Spanish exonym Colonia closely reflects the Latin original. In some cases no standardized spelling is available either because the language itself is unwritten even unanalyzed, or because there are competing non-standard spellings. Use of a misspelled endonym is perhaps more problematic than the respectful use of an existing exonym. Finally, an endonym may be a plural noun and may not naturally extend itself to adjectival usage in another language, like English, which has a propensity to use the adjectives for describing culture and language. The attempt to use the endonym thus has a bizarre-sounding result. 
The names for a language and a people are often different terms, which is a complication for an outsider, with a noticeable example being people from the Netherlands being called the Dutch by native English speakers. As modern technology removes many of the barriers between peoples, it is increasingly becoming the case that younger people may be more familiar with an endonym than with its official exonym. For example, many Italian cities are now more famous for their football teams and Torino and Napoli are becoming more common than Turin and Naples. Sometimes the government of a country tries to endorse the use of an endonym instead of traditional exonyms outside the country. In 1782 King Yotfa Chulalak of Siam moved the government seat from Thonburi province to Phra Nakhon province. In 1972 the Thai government merged Thonburi and Phra Nakhon, forming the new capital, Krungthep Mahanakhon. However, outside of Thailand, the capital retained the old name and is still called Bangkok. In 1935 Reza Shah requested that foreign nations use the name Iran rather than Persia in official correspondence. The name of the country had internally been Iran since the time of the Sassanid Empire 224 whereas the name Persia is descended from Greek Persis, Persis referring to a single province which is officially known as Fars province. In 1949 the government of Siam changed the name to Thailand, although the former name's adjective in English Siamese was retained as the name for the fish, cat and conjoined twins. In 1972 the government of Ceylon the word is the anglicized form of Portuguese Silao changed the name to Sri Lanka, although the name Ceylon was retained as the name for that type of tea. In 1985 the government of Côte d'Ivoire requested that the country's French name be used in all languages instead of exonyms such as Ivory Coast, so that Côte d'Ivoire is now the official English name of that country in the United Nations and the International Olympic Committee see name of Côte d'Ivoire. In most non-Francophone countries, however, the French version has not entered common parlance. In 1989 the government of Burma requested that the English name of the country be Myanmar, with Myanmar as the adjective of the country and Bamar as the name of the inhabitants see names of Burma. The Ukrainian government maintains that the capital of Ukraine should be spelled Kiev in English because the traditional English exonym Kiev was derived from the Russian name Kiev Kiev see name of Kiev. The Belarusian government argues that the endonym Belarus should be used in all languages. The result has been rather successful in English, where the former exonym Belarusia, Belarusia, still used with reference to the Soviet Republic, has virtually died out. In other languages, exonyms like Danish Havitarusland, Dutch Wit Rusland, Estonian Valjevine, Faroese Havitarusland, Finnish Valko Venazia, German Wirusland, Greek Lefkorosia, Lukorosia, Hungarian Feyerorosherzig, Icelandic Vita Rusland, Swedish Vitrusland, Turkish Bias Russia, Chinese by A Luosi, all literally White Russia, or French Bielorussi, Italian Bielorussia, Portuguese Bielorussia, and Spanish Bielorussia are still much more common than Belarus. In 2006 the South Korean national government officially changed the Chinese name of its capital, Seoul, from the exonym Han Chung, Han Sheung Han Sheung to Shower. Shower, shower. This use has now been made official within the People's Republic of China, following the declaration in 1979 of Hanyu Pinyin spelling as the standard romanization of Chinese. Many Chinese endonyms have successfully replaced English exonyms, especially city and most province names in mainland China, e.g. Beijing, 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 Guangdong, Guangdong, Guangdong province, Qingdao, Qingdao, Qingdao. Although older English exonyms are sometimes used in certain contexts, e.g. Peking, duck, opera, etc., Canton, etc. In the case of Beijing, the adoption of the exonym by media outlets quickly gave rise to a hyperforeignized pronunciation, with the result that many English speakers actualize the J in Beijing as <laughs> Exonyms as pejoratives Matisoff wrote a group's autonym is often egocentric, equating the name of the people with mankind in general, or the name of the language with human speech. For example, various Native American autonyms are sometimes explained to English readers as having literal translations of original people or normal people, with implicit contrast to other First Nations as not original or not normal. Exonyms often describe others as foreign speaking, non speaking or nonsense speaking 
The classic example is the Slavic term for the Germans, Niemcy, possibly deriving from a plural of nemi, mute. Standard etymology has it that the Slavic peoples referred to their Germanic neighbors as mutes because their language was unintelligible. The term survives to this day in the Russian Niemcy, Nemcy Bulgarian Niemcy, Nemci Ukrainian Nemcy, Nemcy Polish Nemcy, Czech Nemcy, Slovak, Slovenian and Serbo-Croatian Nijemci, Nemcy, Nijemci Nemcy Montenegrin Njemci, Nemcy as well as in the Hungarian Nemet and Romanian Nemti, both adopted from the Slavic, and even in the Turkish Nemce and Arabic al Nimsa. The Turkish was adapted from the Slavic, and the Arabic from the Turkish, the words in both cases referring specifically to Austria. One of the more prominent theories regarding the origin of the term, Slav, suggests that it comes from the Slavic root Slovo, hence, Slovenia, Slovakia, meaning, word, or, speech. In this context, the Slavs are describing Germanic people as, mutes, in contrast to themselves the speaking ones another example of such development is the exonym su an abbreviated form of nadusu derived most likely from a proto-algonquian term asterisk to foreign speaking two millennia earlier the greeks thought that all non-greeks were uncultured and so called them barbarians which eventually gave rise to the exonym berber while the irish words for england and its people are sasana and sasanosh Saxons. The word for the English language is Bayarla, which derives ultimately from a word meaning lips. In Old Irish, this word was applied to any foreign language, but by the medieval period it had come to be used exclusively for the English language. Topic. Confusion with renaming Exonyms and endonyms must not be confused with the results of geographical renaming as in the case of St. Petersburg, which became Petrograd Petrograd in 1914, Leningrad Leningrad in 1924, and St. Petersburg Sankt Peterburg Sankt Peterburg again in 1991. In this case, although St. Petersburg has a German etymology, it was never a German exonym for the city between 1914 and 1991, just as New Amsterdam, the Dutch name of New York City until 1664, is not its Dutch exonym. Old place names that have become outdated after renaming may afterwards still be used as historicisms. For example, even today one would talk about the Siege of Leningrad, not the Siege of St. Petersburg, because at that time 1941 the city was called Leningrad. Likewise, one would say that Immanuel Kant was born in Königsberg in 1724, not in Kaliningrad, Kaliningrad as it has been called since 1946. Although the pronunciation for several names of Chinese cities such as Beijing and Nanjing has not changed for quite some while in Mandarin Chinese, they were called Peking and Nanking in English due to the confusion brought about by the older Chinese Postal Romanization Convention, which was used for transcribing Chinese place names before Pinyin became the official romanization method for Mandarin in the 1970s. Nonetheless, many older English speakers still refer to the cities by their older English names and even today they are often used in naming things associated with the cities like Peking Opera, Peking Duck, and Peking University to give them a more antiquated or more elegant feel. Like for St. Petersburg, the historical event called the Nanking Massacre 1937 uses the city's older name because that was the name of the city at the time of occurrence. Likewise, many Korean cities like Busan and Incheon, formerly Pusan and Incheon respectively, also underwent changes in spelling due to changes in romanization, even though the Korean pronunciations have largely stayed the same. Sometimes, however, historical names are deliberately not used because of nationalist tendencies to linguistically lay claim to a city's past. As a case in point, the Slovak Wikipedia article on the 1805 piece of Pressburg does not use any of the city's names then in use the Hungarian Pozeny, the Slovak Presporic or the German Pressburg, but today's name Bratislava, which became the city's name in 1919. The name Madras, now Chennai, may be a special case. When the city was first settled by Englishmen, in the early 17th century, both names were in use. Possibly they referred to different villages which were fused into the new settlement. In any case, Madras became the exonym, while more recently, Chennai became the endonym. 
Likewise, Istanbul, Istanbul in Turkish is still called Constantinople, Constantinople in Greek, although the name was changed in Turkish to disassociate the city from its Greek past between 1923 and 1930. The name Istanbul itself derives from a medieval Greek phrase. Prior to Constantinople, the city was known in Greek as Byzantion, Greek, Byzantian Latin, Byzantium, named after its mythical founder, Byzas. Topic lists of exonyms List of English exonyms List of English exonyms for German toponyms List of English exonyms for Italian toponyms English exonyms of Arabic speaking places List of English translated personal names List of French exonyms List of French exonyms for Dutch toponyms List of French exonyms for German toponyms List of French exonyms for Italian toponyms List of German exonyms List of German exonyms for places in Belgium List of German exonyms for places in Croatia List of German exonyms for places in Denmark list of German exonyms for places in Estonia list of German exonyms for places in Hungary list of German exonyms for places in Italy list of German exonyms for places in Latvia list of German exonyms for places in Poland list of German exonyms for places in Slovakia list of German exonyms for places in Switzerland list of European exonyms list of Portuguese exonyms names of European cities in different languages Arabic exonyms list of Armenian exonyms list of Turkish exonyms Chinese exonyms Finnish exonyms French exonyms German exonyms German names for Central European towns Icelandic exonyms Italian exonyms Japanese exonyms Latin exonyms Romanian exonyms Russian exonyms Slavic toponyms for Greek places Vietnamese exonyms Welsh names for other places in Britain and Ireland topic other lists list of adjectival forms of place names onym shibboleth list of indigenous language names list of countries and capitals in native languages list of alternative Alternative country names List of country names in various languages List of Latin place names in Europe List of European regions with alternative names List of European rivers with alternative names List of traditional Greek place names List of Coptic place names Place names in Irish names of places in Finland in Finnish and in Swedish List of renamed Indian cities and states Topic References Topic Notes Topic Bibliography Jordan, Peter, Bergman, Hubert, Burgess, Caroline, Cheatham, Catherine eds, Trends in Exonym Use. Proceedings of the 10th UNGEGN Working Group on Exonyms Meeting, Tynek, 28-30 April 2010. Hamburg 2011 equals Name and Place 1. Jordan, Peter, Erosen Adamic, Milan, Woodman, Paul eds, Exonyms and the International Standardization of Geographical Names. Approaches towards the resolution of an apparent contradiction. Wien, Berlin 2007 equals Wiener Osteropastudian 24. Topic external links 2006 UN document discussing exonyms PDF Jacek Wisolowski's place names in Europe, featuring endonyms and exonyms for many cities Does Juliet's Rose, by any other name, smell as sweet, by Veronica Albin. Looking up in exonym database European Geographical Names Infrastructure and Services Eurogeonames UN document describing Eurogeonames PDF World Map of Country Endonyms